Hello. Can I pull this off? I don't know. No, never mind. Let's leave it on. I'll be breaking shit in your house all the time. <laughs> Came off anyway. It's like a hooper. Pardon? You don't know what that is, do you? I think it's something to do with the Jewish faith. Yes, it's a, it's a place you might have a wedding. Interesting. Yeah. I'm assuming that's not the task. <laughs> yeah. Oh! It is a hooper. Proposed to Alex in the most irresistible way. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Have you proposed to anyone before, Alan? Only my wife. <laughs> so, you know, I'm one for one, as they say. <laughs> have you proposed to anyone before, Victoria? Of course I haven't. What are you suggesting? I think when I proposed to her, it was the only time I, I, ever in my life that I've had snuff. And if I hadn't had the snuff, I might not have done it. I don't know. What do you like? This would have required years of getting to know you. Um... I've got a Wikipedia entry. It's likely that you're going to be inhaling something. <laughs> 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 Lovely. What I take from that is that Victoria's very serious about the sanctity of a marriage proposal and that when Alan proposed to his wife, he was off his face on snuff. Let's see how they get on. OK, well, here is Desiree asking me, Alex Horn, for my hand in marriage. Alex, my darling, come to me. This is wonderful. Isn't it just? I know we've only known each other for a brief time, but I've developed some strong feelings I felt like I needed to share with you. This is a song that I've created, original composition. Furry little Alex Horn, I've fancied you since you were born. If you got mad and killed a guy, I would be your alibi. <laughs> Won't you marry me, Alex? Cause I don't, wait, cause I don't have a gag reflex. <laughs> so Alex Horn, will you make me the happiest weirdo? Will you do me the great honor of spending the rest of our lives together? Will you marry me? Desiree? Alex. I'm gonna go and think about it, thank you. Of course. Can I keep this till I've made my decision? Absolutely. You suck on that and think about things. <laughs> uh, I could watch that again. I mean, there's a couple of things I should probably just speed by. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that you fronted Alex since he was born. That's <laughs> early. Yeah, we should probably leave that. I enjoyed the remote control car. Yes, me too. And I enjoyed the aggression of your final statement. Think about it and suck on that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a strong and unsettling start. OK. <laughs> well, next I'm going to be proposed to by Gus Khan. Oh, wow. Yes. <laughs> so what I'd like to say to you, my brother, is I I've been on this show with you. I don't think people look out for your welfare. They don't look out for how you're feeling. It's a long-ass day. It is a long-ass day. Yeah. So I've prepared something for you. Get in bed. Go on. In bed? Yeah, get in bed. Go on. You did that for me? Yeah, lean back. Take your feet off, look. How's that feel, man? Comfy, ain't it? It's lovely. Yeah, look, there's a skull there with a rose in it. Look, Alex, this task was to propose to you in the most irresistible way. And there's two versions of irresistible. One of those is red roses and fairy lights. But there's another version, the dictionary version, which is irresistible, meaning something so convincing that somebody can't say no. <laughs> Strong smell of... What is that? The Martyr Sword's being supposed to represent blood, you know, for the Godfather. Oh, I see, yeah. Someone told me you like the movie. Well, I like Jaws. He, he likes Jaws, man! <laughs> I'm gonna think about it. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Can I say, Greg, I genuinely didn't know there was anything under the blanket. About the horses? I head. genuinely didn't know. Wow. That was all. All of these, I don't know what's going to happen. I just love what anyone who hasn't watched the Godfather trilogy, what they'll be thinking <laughs> <laughs> of that <laughs> intimate and horrific proposal. <laughs> Can we see another? Yeah. It's Alan now with a very Alan marriage proposal. Hi, Alex. Hello. Um, would you mind uh, inhaling some of the, um, 
persuasive elixir. No. <laughs> That's it. And just breathe in. Yeah, breathe in. Keep breathing in. It's definitely going to help. Now you can uncover. <laughs> oh! Ah. This is a uh, dowry, of course. Was that there before the cat? It's trained. If you're amenable... Oh, uh, well, there's more, is there? I have a prenuptial agreement. Do you now? Thank you. Do you accept the proposal, or...? I'll sign the nup. OK. And I will think about it. OK, that's all I can ask, I suppose, at this stage. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> What was Alex inhaling to soften him up for marriage? Vicks vapor rub. That helped clear your head while Alan got into character. <laughs> <laughs> and then we all know if there's one thing that will guarantee a yes to a marriage proposal, it's a surprise cow. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, I'm going to be proposed to by Victoria Corrin Mitchell. I'm too committedly married already, and I never proposed to my own husband, so to propose to someone else's husband, it would be all wrong. However, here's my proposal. The opportunity is there to have a wedding that, to you, doesn't count as a wedding. Sorry, are you proposing to me right now? We've got a whole house at our disposal, a caravan, wedding and honeymoon right here. It feels like you're proposing right now. If I were, what would you say? Would you mind taking one more surname? I think you'd have to take my surname, but only the Corrin. I think to take my husband's surname would be disrespectful, to be honest. I'm becoming Alex Corrin. I think so. I can't believe you need to think about it. I've proposed to someone for the first time in my life. You're not even accepting immediately. Can I have half an hour? All right, OK. Thanks, Victoria. Thank you. Corrin. Mitchell. <laughs> Horn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to say, gut instinct tells me Victoria doesn't want you to marry her. <laughs> <laughs> it was the only instant proposal. Genuinely worried about it though. Y yes. I know it's ridiculous. I'm so happily married. I'm so besotted with my husband. I genuinely worried about proposing to another man, even as a joke. I thought maybe that's not nice. It's ridiculous. It's pretty damn sweet, if you ask yeah. me. And it just shows the lack of regard that the other people here have for their partners. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, don't say that. <laughs> nah, I love you. <laughs> Relax, bro. It's the game show. <laughs> Very sweet, Victoria. <laughs> you get sweet points. And what do they translate to on this show? Ah, not many points. <laughs> <laughs> Let's uh, play on. Last of all, really last of all, it's Morgana Robinson. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Come on. Yeah. Put the sailor outfit on and follow the music. Lobsters are red, oceans are blue. I won't give you crabs if you let me marry you. La 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 la. What sort of crabs? Itchy ones. La 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 la. Um, Morgana. Yeah. I really appreciate everything you've done, and I will think about it. Thank you. La la. What a spectacular proposal. Mm. <laughs> of course, the correct answer to a proposal like that from an obviously psychotic mermaid <laughs> is no. <laughs> also, <laughs> never trust someone who tells you straight away that they haven't got crowds. <laughs> <laughs> la, la, la. <laughs> That's going to be stuck in my head for the rest uh. of my life as well. <laughs> All right, 
I could barely separate some of these. Mm. Right. Mm. Victoria's was a pretty damn weak proposal. But it was a fairly sweet response. I'm going to give Victoria an unbelievable three points. <laughs> Fair enough. Three points to Victoria. That's very nice of you. Um, I could not separate a menthol snorting proposal <laughs> and an announcement <laughs> of a weak gag reflex. <laughs> I'm giving both of those four points. OK, four to Alan. Four to David. Probably. And when you've got productions on this scale, then both people, for very different reasons, have got to take a sweet five with them. Five points to girls and more better! For more Taskmaster, subscribe now. <laughs>